Now, investors wrapped up this week's trading with 22 billion shillings less than they did last week, as indicated by the decline in market capitalization to 2.2 trillion shillings. This week's activity was dominated by Safaricom, which moved 35 million shares valued at 927 million shillings, with banking stocks coming second even as the earnings season started. The season for commercial banks' full-year results is here, and a 61% surge in its load of bad debts to stand at 16.6 billion shillings took the shine off Stanbeck Holdings' 45% rise in net profit for the year ended December 2018. The company, whose shareholders have realized a 3% gain in price since the start of 2019, has recommended a final dividend of 3 shillings and 55 cents for 2018. You saw the, the results, the, the NPOs going up in the last quarter. And, and I think what we said is it was a very specific to a particular set of clients rather than a broad sector. And it was largely a particular set of clients in, in agriculture. So it's a very specific, concentrated problem, if I would say that. And staying with results, flower manufacturing company Unger Group saw its net profit for the six months ended December 2018 dip by 40% to 306 million shillings compared to the same period in 2017. In the period under review, the company took a beating from a rising competition and weak demand, which saw its revenue fall by 18% to 9 billion shillings. Unger has simultaneously issued a profit warning for the full year ending June 2019. The Nairobi Securities Exchange seems to have lost the momentum it started the year with, with the NSC 20 share index moderating to the 2,900 level. But with the earnings season for the banking sector on the way, investors are banking on the year's results to lift up the performance of the exchange. Julian's Amboko, NTV.